On my other video, I showed you how to adjust the saddle here, this part of the bridge, it's called the saddle. So I adjusted it down, trying to get the action down more playable for this 12-string Gibson guitar. And after I brought it up to standard pitch and measured the neck bow, I have decided that it does need a small truss rod adjustment in order to get it a little more straight so I have better action. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, measure the bow of the neck again using my feeler gauge. And I like to have it just a slight tiny bit of bow at the 12th fret and that's about 0 0.005 and if I measure it which I've already done um, it's actually has quite a bit more I can easily slide this feeler gauge between the frets and this straight edge so I'm gonna go ahead and actually take off this truss rod cover first I'm gonna loosen the strings take off the truss rod cover and I'm going to tighten the truss rod, which is going to bring the neck bow backwards against the string tension. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you how that's done. I've moved the strings out of the way, so now I'm ready to remove the truss rod cover. Now, here's a tool that Gibson sends with some of their guitars. It's a combination Phillips screwdriver and a truss rod nut adjustment tool. But in this case, um, I'm going to have to use a smaller screwdriver because this cover, the uh, screws are a little smaller than th the uh, tool. So I'm just simply going to take the cover off. And you can see this nut here. That's your truss rod nut. And you're going to tighten it this way to make the neck bow backwards against the string tension, which is what I want to do. So first of all, I'm going to put this on there and see if I can feel if it's loose or not. And I don't want to adjust it by much, so I'm actually putting some towels under here and I'm going to just adjust it a little bit there. And then take this off and I might try to make it a little tighter. You don't want to do too many adjustments. You don't want to adjust too much. So I'm going to adjust it about that much and then I'm going to put the cover back on, put the strings back on and see if my neck is a little straighter. So you do everything in small steps and then you let the guitar settle. So we'll do that and then we'll see how it came out. I tightened the uh, truss rod about half a turn clockwise this way, which gives it more tension against the strings pulling in opposite direction and I've reinstalled the uh, truss rod cover and actually I went ahead and put all brand new strings on it and I've brought it up to pitch and the action now is definitely way better than what it was when it came from Gibson and by the way there's an easy way you can kind of check it you can just kind of hold your finger here and here and see how much this string deflects and it doesn't deflect hardly anything at all so I know my action I know my neck is about as straight as I'm going to get it. Again, you need a little bit of curvature in order to um, allow for no string buzzing. So it's all ready to go, and I'm finished. Thanks.